he was. Oh my freaky gosh! Warning, this game contains jump scares, flashing light, scary and disturbing content. Continue. Yeah. Yo, what's up everybody? Spaz King be me, and today we are playing Red Mist. A, I wanted to say Spongebob based horror game, but I'm pretty sure it's based off of this, this creepy fan video that was made of the TV show. I don't, it's a Squidward based horror game. Let's get it. On the 7th of January, 2000, Squidward was found dead in his house by his friends Spongebob and Patrick. The Bikini Bottom police started an investigation but could not find any evidence of a possible murderer and assumed it was suicide as the gun was in one of Squidward's hands. A few days later, Spongebob and Patrick were reported missing, last seen entering Squidward's house in the middle of the night. As Bikini Bottom police continued the investigation, a secret cellar door was unveiled in Squidward's house. You play as one of the police officers of Bikini Bottom police. You have to enter the cellar. Will you unveil the truth? Hopefully. I'm not entirely sure what evidence I'm looking for or why I keep sliding to the left when I walk, but <laughs> it really be like that sometimes, you know? I don't know what I'm looking for, so I don't know <laughs> what to click when I find it, but oh, this one? Oh, it's just a leg, you know? It's just a leg. Ah, that's glowing. Okay, I now know. I now know. But, um... Yeah, so far so good. No signs of Squidward anywhere. Let's just get around this. Having a hard time getting <laughs> off of objects, but... Spatula. Let's be Spongebob's. So far we got a clarinet. And a spatula. Bro, how do I regain stamina? Do I not regain stamina? Aw, oh, nah. Alright, let's head down this hallway. What was that? I think that's another item down there. He was. He was. Oh my freaky gosh! <sighs> he was wrong. The magic con shell. SpongeBob, no! <laughs> I'm thinking they were about to say he was number one. <sighs> okay. I definitely got the heart bumping. <sighs> Hello? Okay. Oh, that was the sound that plays when I walk in here. I was ready to book it. Probably got crumbs on my face. I was about to say, is this hallway a dead end? Nah, 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 nah. <sighs> Look, this... This is too quiet. It's too ominous. Come on, get off the wall. <laughs> Why are you getting stuck on the wall like that? I just have to not use my stamina anymore because I thought it would regenerate, but it clearly it's not the case. Is that Patrick? Come on. <laughs> Yo. Patrick. Patrick. Oh, Squidward is tripping. Dude, why is the entire police department not down here with me? That's the real question. Why is this a solo man mission? Why don't I have a gun? I'm a police officer. I can jump, alright. Oh, a jellyfish net. Just need two more items. I'm <clears throat> sorry. But two more items are needed. Hello? Oh, my freaking Squidward! <sighs> <laughs> I don't want to play this game no more. <laughs> Take 
Yeah, the last item is down this hall. It's gotta be. <clears throat> Bro, do I honestly have to go all the way back and make it back to the ladder that led to this cellar? Bro, I don't want these headphones on my head right now because that would make this less scary. Truth is, near. Okay. That's cool. I'd like to know what happened. It's the whole reason why I'm down here. And if you about to give me the drool, then that's cool too. You know? <laughs> I don't think I've ever been. Run, bro. Run, bro. Why is the hallway just... They cheat, bro. I don't know if it's getting closer. But they make this hallway extra long. Go, go, go. <laughs> escape ending. You managed to escape the basement in the last second. You contacted the police station and told them what you have witnessed in the basement. A special police force was sent to Squidward's house. They searched for the bodies of Spongebob and Patrick, but could not find anything. This is what you get. Alright, I didn't have anybody else with me. Okay, I didn't have a gun. I don't know what the heck was running at me, or sliding at me. I don't know. I, I just saw something moving and turned and ran. Um, and you didn't have any, like, camera recording. There was no type of evidential proof. It was literally just a, I saw this... And they're like, but that's not here. So, see, it says escape ending. Meaning, there's another ending I can get. Probably if I let that thing that was coming at me get me. So I'm going to replay this. And I'm keeping the headphones off of my head. And we'll put them back on when I get back to where I'm trying to be. Okay, so I actually found all the items this time. I don't know if that will do anything for me or not, <laughs> but hey, I got them, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so, oh my freaking gosh, how did I forget that was going to happen? So, I take it this time, I let it, I let it kill me. Yes, I got the death ending. After you have not returned from the basement, the Bikini Bottom police decided to send a special force of police officers into the basement. They found the bodies of Spongebob and Patrick and you in a devastating condition. An investigation was started to explain the deaths, but no clues were found to what really happened. The case was closed a few months later, and the deaths remain a mystery to this day. I have all the items, and I'm escaping this time. So we're gonna see if that does anything different for me. Uh... What is that? Hmm? What? Truth is near. What is this? <laughs> I'm so confused. Did I get like the truth ending? I don't know. I don't know what this is, but I'm here. Well, it that that closed my game. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, ho hopefully you all enjoyed that. I don't know. That was a really confusing ending. Well, that ending specifically was a really confusing ending, but um. Yeah, all three endings. I don't. I don't know. Hang on. I just had an idea. What if, when I got all the items, I leave? 
All right, let's try that. Like, this was just a random thought that I had. I sat here, I finished recording, I wrapped everything up, and I was just sitting there like, I could get the items and keep going. But what if I got the items and then head back to the entrance? See, this popped up, and I, I saw it, but I didn't think anything of it. SB129. And after I was done recording, I sat there and Googled it. And SB129 is a SpongeBob episode where Squidward was like sent to the future. future. And there was like a lot of time traveling going on in that episode and whatnot. Now, what does SB129 have to do with this game? I don't know. I have no clue. Is this the entrance room? It is. It didn't work. So this means I need to do something else in order to get this last ending. Okay, so... After some extended research, it looks like I have to click on cans or something like that. The thing, these things that are on the shelf. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to get three of them and then try to get the secret ending again. Now we just go and get the secret end again. I'm just saying. I don't think I've put in like more work for any gameplay, any video than this one right here. You know? Okay. So now I head down here. What the heck is that? I know y'all see that. Mr. Krabs did it. Oh! Wait, what? <laughs> SB129 ending. When you insert SB129, you were teleported on the day of the Squidward assassination. You caught Mr. Krabs in the act when he tried to shoot Squidward. You overpowered and arrested Mr. Krabs. He was sentenced to prison for attempted murder for 25 years to be continued okay okay that's crazy so that's what sb129 had to do with this that was interesting so that was all the endings all right well uh I guess roll the outro from, you know, before I finish the video and all that stuff. But yeah, that's going to be all out of me for today, guys. Um, this was probably one of the few games that genuinely terrified me. And that's <laughs> it's sad because it's Squidward. Like, come on, fam. But yeah. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Spaz out.